Hey guys, what's up? Your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. If you're a first timer here, consider hitting that subscribe button, maybe giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Here's my question for you guys today, little discussion topic for you. So we know it's gonna be Moose versus Rich Swan this weekend at Sacrifice to unify the TNA and the Impact Wrestling world titles. The winner is gonna move on for the opportunity to wrestle for the AEW Championship, be a double champion, get a title from another company, which could be really, really big for Impact. I'm gonna to get to my prediction here at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned. Here's my question for you guys though. Uh, this is kind of a fantasy booking, hypothetical situation, but do you think that Eddie Edwards is the one who deserved to be in this spot to wrestle Kenny Omega. I'm talking about from hard to kill all the way now getting this opportunity. Should Eddie Edwards, who's been in the company the longest of anybody, who was a recent world champion, should he be the one wrestling Kenny? Would he be the one to get the best match out of Kenny Omega, out of everyone from Impact Wrestling? Now, depending on how long you've been watching wrestling, if you remember Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels, you know, the first time those guys really, really, truly locked it up, it was an interesting match because they had such a similar styles and there are very similar builds, very similar stature to where Eddie Edwards is a little more, um, he's a little bigger, a little thicker, but built like Kenny Omega is. And I feel like, you know, we, we know that Eddie can get a good match out of anybody. Um, so he's really the perfect guy. Obviously Kenny Omega can as well. I feel like maybe he would have been the right guy to match up with him. And, um, you know, we, of course, Moose and Rich Swan, they're great. They're great champions. Rich Swan's a lot smaller than Kenny Omega. Moose is a lot bigger than Kenny Omega. So I, I kind of feel like Eddie Edwards should have been rewarded with this opportunity to, to be the guy. Because this is the one disconnect I have with the storyline. Whoever moves on to face Kenny Omega is that they don't really, they're not really the face of Impact Wrestling. You know, Moose is Mr. Impact Wrestling, and I get that. But if you're thinking Impact Wrestling and, and the person who's closest to being the face of the company, to me, it's Eddie Edwards. And I, I really feel like this would have been a great opportunity for him um, and for Impact to really put like their best foot forward and say, hey, this is the best we have to offer type of thing. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me get into some predictions. First of all, I do think that this is going to be a triple threat at the pay-per-view now it's it's possible that's not going to be the case but you know i mentioned the wrestlers being so different in stature i really think moose being the bigger guy swan being the smaller guy kenny omega being in the middle i just see aesthetically a triple threat match happening we also know that impact has been kind of allergic to really good one-on-one -on -one feuds and one-on-one -on -one matches lately on the big show it doesn't matter if it's impact plus doesn't matter if it's a pay-per-view they've been getting everybody in there and throwing as many people as possible in all the matches, they had that old WWE formula. So uh, I just don't see a one-on-one -on -one match happening here. It very well could, but my prediction is that it's not going to. I think it's going to be a triple threat, and you know the person's going to leave with two titles. As far as who do I think is going to win? Now the easy money does seem to be Kenny Omega, right? That seems to be the easy bet because we were saying, okay, well Impact, there's no way Impact's going to. Uh, win the AEW title. There's no way AEW is going to allow their title to go to Impact Wrestling. But think about how one-sided everything has been so far. The paid ads, the match, the, the few matches we get, they've only had interest in the Good Brothers. You know, it's been the, a really, really lopsided, one-sided partnership. It was something that we were all excited about because of the possibilities, and those possibilities haven't been there so far. I hate to fantasy book. I hate to say, hey, this is what I think is going to happen and this and that. I mean, let me not say that. I do enjoy speculating on what I think is going to happen, but but I don't fantasy book too hard in my head to where I'm disappointed if that's not what happens. Now, while most people are saying, okay, Kenny Omega is going to win the Impact title, I actually think it's going to be the other way around. I think it would make a lot of the one-sidedness, the paid ads, all that shit kind of makes sense you know, for Impact to show them up and to get their championship. I can even see a scenario that this is where I'm getting into fantasy booking where, where um, cause if you remember Don Callis screwed Kenny Omega over to get the AEW title. What happens if Don Callis screws over Kenny or he screwed John Moxley over, I should say. What happens if he screws Kenny Omega over 
to get the AEW title onto his program, into his company. You know, I just don't think, as much as I, I get on Impact for doing a bunch of cookie cutter shit, I don't think this storyline and the way it's, it's gonna play out is gonna be cookie cutter. I think there's gonna be uh, a swerve. I think there's gonna be a result or an outcome that we just don't expect. I, I don't think it's gonna be as simple as Kenny's gonna take the title. I initially thought that they brought the TNA title back so that Kenny could win the Impact title and there would still be a world title on Impact. That's really where I thought they were going with it. But um, I am sticking to that right now that whoever wrestles for Impact, even though I think it'll be a triple threat, I think folks that there's a bigger picture here. Uh, Don Callis has even alluded there to there being a bigger picture. And it would make sense because we keep saying, why is why is Don saying, oh, this dude's the real world champion? This is why is he putting over that championship so much against a company that he works for? Which I talk about Don Callis is flip flopping on screen all the time. But you can't say that doesn't kind of make sense that if he's putting that title over so much and gets the title over to Impact that he could claim that Impact has the real world champion. And remember at Hard to Kill, there was the backstage segment with Don Callis and Moose in the hallway where Don Callis was like, oh shit, you know, like he, he was giving that uh, genuine, like I'm intimidated, I'm worried by Moose, I'm worried about Moose, what he, what he could do. What if Don Callis ends up screwing Kenny Omega over to link up with Moose and manage him and he's the double champion. You feel where I'm going with this? So uh, that's really what I'm sticking by is gonna happen. I know that's all really bold and maybe unlikely, but that's what I'm sticking with. So I wanna know your thoughts, guys. Should Eddie Edwards be wrestling for the AEW World Championship instead of Rich Swan and Moose? And since he clearly isn't and it is Rich Swan or Moose or both, what do you think is ultimately going to happen? This is BQ. Thanks for checking in. I'm out. Peace.